Okay, a little more help with page 254. Um, use the given zero to find all the zeros. I'll do number 50, the rest of the problems in that section you should be able to do after you watch this sample. All right, so if you are given a polynomial and you're given one zero, the directions are find the rest of the zeros. Okay, first thing you need to do is look at the polynomial and figure out how many zeros does it have. All right, x to the third. x to the third, third degree, three zeros x to the fifth, fifth degree, five zeros. So, we have three zeros to find, they gave us one. So, before we get started, I like to set up an answer box with space for my answers, so if I get sidetracked, I can figure out where I am, how many answers I have left to do. So, answer box, right here. All right, they gave us one answer, five plus two i. Now, I wonder if you remember anything about imaginary numbers and polynomials and solutions. And there's a special rule. If this imaginary number is a root to an equation, its conjugate is also a root. Do you know the conjugate of that number? You should. Here it is. 5 minus 2 i. There, two answers done. I only have one more to find. That one takes a little more work, though. Let's get started. We're going to use synthetic division and depress the equation. And since we have two answers, we're going to depress it twice. Watch. First thing that goes in here, 5 plus 2i. Let's put our coefficients. 1 negative 7, negative 1, plus 87. We're going to draw a line here. We're going to get ready at the end. Do you know why I put that zero there? If I know that's an answer, when I do synthetic with that, I have to get zero at the end. There'll be no remainder because it divides into the polynomial. So, um, that's a helpful thing to know. If you don't get a zero, you made an error, go back and find it. Now, you should have your calculator ready because it's pretty helpful when we're doing this. Okay, so let's get started. Bring down the one. Five plus two i times one. Five plus two i. Oh no, I have an imaginary number to add with a regular real number. Can you do that? Of course you can, and it's pretty easy. Um, five and minus seven, minus two plus two i. Now, I can tell you're probably getting a little bit worried. I've got some imaginary numbers to multiply. Well, I don't know if I let you in on this little secret or not, but the calculator has an i button. It can multiply the imaginary numbers for you, the i button right there above the decimal point. So, get your calculator out, look at it, right there, right above the decimal point, see the I button? Anyway, we're gonna use it. I need you to use it too. The important thing is use parentheses around both of your imaginary numbers. The other thing I want you to keep track of is leave your answers in the calculator and just go step to step. You will not have to retype. Retyping is a chance for error. We don't want any errors, right? Okay, so let's get started. Type in parenthesis 5 plus 2i times parenthesis minus 2 plus 2i. Type that in, hit enter, and you should get negative 14 plus 6i. All right, leave it in there. Now, do subtract 1. You should get negative 15 plus 6i. Write it down. Leave it in there. Next step. I have to multiply that answer times that. So, we've got that answer in there. Hit the times button. Parenthesis, put that in. Press the equal button. Negative 87. I get 0. If you did the numbers right, it works. 
Okay, so, huh, checked, that answer works. All right, I need to depress one more time. Depressing from the third degree to this, if I wanted to write an equation, this would be 1x squared, this quantity times x plus this equals 0. But we have a second answer, 5 minus 2i. So we're going to depress again. All right, let's get our line drawn. Let's figure out where should our 0 be, right here. I know it's going to work because I know it's an answer. I know the conjugate root theorem. Okay, well, let's go. Calculators fired up. 1 times 5 minus 2i. 5 minus 2i. Add. Now, you can use your calculator if you want. In this step, it's pretty easy just to do it in your head. Minus 2i plus 2i, gone. 5 minus 2, 3. Okay, next step. 3 times 5 minus 2i. I'm going to bypass the calculator issue on this step. 15 minus 6i. Oh, if I add, I better get 0. I do. Oh, it's a donut. Time for a snack. Okay, let's go. Now, I'm almost done. I have depressed the equation twice. So my equation for the final answer here, if this was an x to the third, this would be an x to the squared, so this would be an x. This wouldn't have an x. So 1x plus 3 equals 0. Solve that. x equals negative 3. Ha <laughs> ha. There's the last answer. So I found the three answers. I had to do synthetic. It was a little dicey. You got to be careful of your parentheses. Use the trusty old calculator. Nice trick. You can use it on tests. So that's good. Um, that's it. Hope this helps.